The Holocaust exhibition's been brought to Liverpool by Father's House, a Christian congregation based in Deeside. Pastor Mike Fryer leads the research into the display, which includes stories of prisoners in concentration camps during the Second World War. The aim of the exhibition is to give an opportunity for people to reflect on the Holocaust and to raise awareness to people young and old. I like it how the idea of people of all ages can like take part in it and it seems like very very good to get everybody in the community just coming together to celebrate. Yeah. It like touches people like it makes people like really sad and like they want to like cry a bit because like the photos and like some of their family were in the war as well and it's quite sad for them. My uncle um, he told me about like well I call him uncle. Um, he told me about like when he was a young kid, he had to get evacuated to a boarding school, and like um, he got sent away from his mom, and he missed his family. It's nice to hear like the stories, but it's quite sad, like seeing what they've been put through when they were younger, because like I can't really imagine it, but like it would happen now if it was us. In preparation of the exhibition, Father's House took questionnaires to the public to ask about their understanding of the Holocaust. Out of 300 people, 10% had never heard of the atrocity because they hadn't been taught. This, Mike Fryer says, makes it even more important to have exhibitions like this as he believes incitement of hatred is even more prevalent today. It's crucially important in our times. We may think that this is history, a history lesson, but it's important that we teach people not to incite hatred of others because the result is genocide and probably the most tragic genocide of all is, is Holocaust where six million Jews, but also other communities, homosexuals, uh, Poles, people who were different to the regime died brutally, by, killed by ordinary people, not just Nazis. Today we have incitement against the Jewish communities uh, and anti-Semitism is rising in the UK. The year before last, there was 1,100 anti-Semitic attacks in the UK. We haven't got the figures for uh, 2015 yet. They'll be released next month. But we see this increasing anti-Semitic attitude within Europe, throughout Europe, but also within the UK. So we really need to teach uh, people not to hate people who are different and not to incite hatred towards communities that act in a different way or are a different race or a different group of people. So it's important that we use Holocaust as a way forward in education, in teaching particularly young people not to, to, to hate or to speak about hatred towards other communities. The exhibition is in the Town Hall until Thursday and will run alongside Holocaust Memorial Day, a day to remember millions who died in historical genocides and to help to prevent it ever happening again. Charlene Smith, Bay TV News.